Hey guys, in this tutorial today we're going to learn how to use DaVinci Resolve Lite to create stock footage um, pretty much for free. DaVinci Resolve Lite is a free program, you can download that online. I've used a lot of different software in the past to create stock footage such as uh, Adobe Premiere and After Effects. They're great, you can do a very good job making stock footage but if you want to make stock footage quickly, this program I have found is the best. It's free for one. You do need a little bit more of a more powerful computer. Right now I've got a uh, MacBook Pro Retina. Um, it's pretty quick, it's pretty powerful, so it can. It seems to be able to run the program just fine. I know some people with anything under 8 gigs of RAM really and a little bit older, they seem to struggle uh, using DaVinci Resolve and even me sometimes I'll freeze this thing up. So you definitely need a little more power but the program itself is free. And it's a lot better than Premiere or After Effects in the fact that it's a lot quicker. So if you're just doing clips that you shot that you just want to add color to, you can use just this program and do a great job. If it's got to have stabilization and all that kind of stuff done, you might want to use After Effects or Premiere. But for most stock footage clips, people don't want to put too much time into them. And so they just want a quick program that can give them good results and make the the creation process a little bit quicker and we'll get into that in just a minute but here we are in the project manager and let's go to a trip that I'm already logged in and everything let's go to a trip that I did just this last weekend actually I went to the sand dunes with my family and I got a few clips in there that truthfully I think could be great stock footage clips the saddest part about what I'm about to show you is the clips that I've used weren't from my DSLR. I had a few, but I didn't use my DSLR a whole lot. I actually used my iPhone 6 Plus, which has great optical image stabilization, and it shot 1080 at 60 frames a second, so I was kind of excited about using it because I had just gotten it. So this just goes to show you can use anything to record stock footage, really. Uh, a lot of new smartphones do a great job. So here I've already put everything into my, uh, my footage, into my master here. Um, so we're just going to go to the edit uh, screen here, and let me bring up, I, I've created a timeline, I've cr and here is my media pool. Now I'm just going to grab some of the movie, the video clips, and we're going to go through and we're going to edit this. So this shot I know is really nice, and it comes right in, here I'm going to turn off that, that audio there so it's not yelling at you the whole time. And I know right about there is a good out point, so I just hit O for out. And I'm going to drag that right down into my timeline. I know later on in that same clip, I've got some pretty cool, some pretty cool footage. And I'm going to probably start that right about here. I'm going to go in. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to let it be a longer clip. Um, we're going to go out right about, oh, we might just go to the end of that one. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, that, that looks pretty good. So there's a couple clips real quick. Let me see if I can find an, a few others. Um, I know that we have a Jeep here. This is a, a Jeep with a really big motor. Um, a lot of aftermarket done, stuff done on it. My brother's Jeep has a 6.1 liter Hemi V8. It's, it's a monster, and it, uh, you know, that one, so it dimmed. It was on kind of auto on the camera, but for stock footage, sometimes that's just fine. It's not a huge issue. Um, I think I'm going to actually go to where, the, before the people even come in, I don't, I don't feel like having other people walking around. You know, I don't want those kind of shots in there. This Jeep right here, pretty neat looking Jeep. And I want him be in the shot. He comes up and just kind of stops. Let's throw that in there real quick. And hey, we got another one of this big Jeep flying around the dunes, being all crazy and stuff. Let's throw that in there. Okay, so here's the simple thing. We've got a few shots right here, and I've selected their in and out points. I'm not going to show how to do color grading or anything like that in this tutorial. You can do that. Um, the next tab kind of takes you into that. You can pick the shot and, you know, you can mess with all kinds of things and make it whatever. Make it cool. So I'm just going to go into Deliver. This is the cool part about DaVinci Resolve. This is what I love about it.
So we've got a timeline here. In Premiere, you would export the timeline, or you'd have to um, nest those clips into their own timelines real quickly, rename them all one by one. It kind of takes, it's kind of cumbersome. With Resolve, you can actually export each clip individually, and it'll name it something completely different. So I'm going to actually go into uh, Advanced, um, and we're going to select some of the things. So we're going to do individual source clips, okay? Uh, when you export these, you do want to export them as a QuickTime in Apple Pro Res 422HQ. What that is is it works really well as kind of a digital negative. It holds all the color information, so if you ever wanted to, when, you, when somebody buys this off of a site like Shutterstock or Pond5 or whatever, they can actually color correct it to match their theme of their video. And so that would be good to just leave that right there, Apple Pro Res 422HQ. Let's bring it down here, save, use custom file name. Um, I'm going to use the source file name and I want it to have unique file names. Use unique file name prefix or you can do a suffix so if you can change the front or the back it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it on the front because I'm actually going to change that later on. Um, I'm going to render this to a location here on my I'm just going to render it right to my desktop actually so I'm just going to put it right there. I don't even need to put it in anything. We're going to, yeah, you can select the last clip, hit O. It'll render everything from there, from the beginning here to the end. Add job to render queue. Start render. All right, now that that render is finished, um, let's go take a quick look at it. Now, it's right here. I've got it on my desktop. Um, here it's on my desktop, but... I also open up here in Finder, and you can take a look at these clips, you know. You can see that it put a prefix on them, and then kept the same original name. And I can bring these up, and actually play them. And it's stuttering a little bit because I'm recording, I'm doing a screen capture, I have the Vinci open and I'm previewing it. Um, it doesn't do that when I'm not recording and got da Vinci open and all that. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. These are, these are good shots, um, especially for just an iPhone. They look really good. Um, I didn't do any color correction or anything like that. I probably should have tweaked things here and there. Definitely shouldn't have left this shot in there, actually, now that I think about it. The, the fact that it's kind of an, in auto, it just looks bad. Um, but they look good, and I did them really quickly. That's the best part about DaVinci is you can just pump these things out really, really, really quick. So what I'm going to show you here, first of all, I'm actually going to organize these. I should have done that before. Let me bring up another tab here real quick. And so there's media. I'm going to put a folder right here and name it stock footage, okay? So I made some stock footage from this trip at the sand dunes, okay? And this is kind of how I like to do things. I just grab it and drag it right there, boom. So there's my stock footage. And let's say I want to add um, my own prefix to this real quick. Well, with a Mac, really, it's pretty easy. You can just grab all these. So we're going to rename these five items. And we're going to replace text. We're going to replace the V1 and replace with Sand Dunes. Okay, I'm going to hit rename real quick. Boom. Sand Dunes. It's a little bit of a long name. I'd actually probably get rid of these numbers. Uh, that's the one thing that I don't like about DaVinci Resolve is you can't really customize the way you want this to be. But that actually is really nice and easy because some of these shots came from the same shot. And you want a 1 and a 2. And I bet in preferences I could probably change that, but I'm not going to get into that today. I just want to show you guys how to make this stock footage really, really quickly. So there you go. That's how you make stock footage really fast with DaVinci Resolve. Of course, I didn't go into color grading or anything like that, but I brought in the clips that I wanted to, and I processed them right here in stock footage and showed you how to export these in a quick way. And that way you can cut the clips out. I took from this shot, this was one clip, but I took two shots out of it nicely and it looks great. So anyway, thanks for uh, listening to this tutorial. The next tutorial I'll go over a little bit of uh, metadata and things like that. So thanks. Bye.